What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to WWF No Mercy. And yesterday, the game played me. And I got screwed out of what I rightfully won, the WWF title. So let's continue on as we do here in this game. Provoking for a rematch? Here comes Triple H, who got Earl Hebner to reverse... The decision, baby Earl, what are you doing? Or was it Dave Hebner? You never know, they're twins. So Triple H coming down to the ring. If you could all hold up for a minute, playoff, and give me some time to speak with the beak. I would also like to apologize to all of you. It's been brought to my attention that many of you feel like I have been unfair in some of the business decisions that I've had to make. What's best for business? I mean, you be the judge. Was it unfair of me to take Slug's big win and strike it from the record books so that it never existed? So that it never took place? Was it unfair that I take an incompetent referee, humiliate, and fire him? And is it unfair to make The Rock compete in all kinds of matches so close to other important events. Knowing he's going to get his ass kicked right before he steps into the ring with me. To get his ass kicked again. I mean, I don't know. I'm not an unfair guy. If there's anything I am, it's fair. That's why tonight, in this very ring, oh, that's Slug's music. Slug is here. Bang, bang. He has some words to have with the game. Triple H, the only thing you need to apologize for is for boring these people in the audience half to death. Week after week, you get these whining, tedious speeches. Don't you realize that nobody gives a damn about what you have to say? So I'm begging you. I'm pleading with you. Please shut the hell up, jerky. And you talk about being fair, but if you really want to be fair, I think you should agree to give Slug a rematch for the title. And I think you should do it tonight. Well, let me think about that. Do you really think I come out here and reward you for sticking your nose, which is smaller than mine, in business it does not belong in? That I would really reward you for coming out here week after week and saying derogatory comments about Stephanie. I know that maybe you don't think it bothers her, but she is very sensitive. She's very delicate, like a little flower. Flower? I have to say that little Stephanie baby lost her flower a long, long time ago. Ooh, yeah, dig it. I mean, how else do you think she became a filthy etc. etc. in the first place? Hey, slug. I'm sick and tired of you disparaging Stephanie. I'm sick and tired of Rock making comments about Stephanie. This is a matter of pride. Let me tell you one thing. Tonight, me and <coughs> take on you and Rock. But as far as your shot at this title is concerned, that request is denied. But as for you getting your ass kicked tonight right here on Raw, you're in luck. And here we go. It's a tag team match player. Holla holla. And so I welcome you to Saturday. I know unusual for me to be here on a Saturday with this particular kind of program, but as I said on my YouTube story, go watch that, that this week's Pixels did not get filmed. There is no Pixels this week. We had some serious issues with our recording scenario and it just didn't work. So next week, we're back on business for Pixels, but this week, I got nothing. So sorry to say that it is what it is sometimes. So let's get into this match here, shall we? Now then, game, it's time to be game over. Game over. That's the plan. So, uh, there has been an official confirmed mask policy for talent in WWE. And that is, if you are not in the ring or ringside, if you are just, you know, in the crowd, cheering, whatever else, backstage, production, you have to wear a mask. And if you don't, it is a $500 fine. So we'll see if that actually works. And if it actually is any effectiveness on that... Ah, what, man? 
It is long overdue, and it should have happened a long time ago. But hey, they're gonna keep on ignoring the problem. Apparently, Kevin Dunn is like, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And that Bucky Beaver so and so. Okay, so besides that, SmackDown was last night, and because I, I haven't done this show on a Saturday in quite some time, I haven't really discussed it. SmackDown in full in quite some time. It's usually I'm, I'm here on a Monday, being like, oh well, you know, it happened and it's whatever. Uh, and a Triple H is not easy, much like he was not easy the last time I fought him. So, oh, the discus lariat, and he put it into an arm bar. Triple H, just that good. Just that good. Imagine that. So, SmackDown began with Matt Riddle doing his thing in the ring with Cole in an interview segment, and out comes his first real feud. It's gonna be King Corbin. And you're like, oh man, I don't want to see any more of that, but we're doing that because that's what's going to happen. Uh, I want to tag in The Rock because I'm going to lose here in two minutes. Uh, and that's not great. I would hope that The Rock would uh, come in here and help me out after I get here with a pedigree. Like, yeah. Rock! Rock! What are you doing, Rock? You had that much faith in me that I would kick out? Like, drop kick. Nope. I want to get him out of the ring. Nope. I mean, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but hey. No, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! I don't think so. I don't think so, Triple H. I mean, honestly, it might, might be easier not to, not to not fight Triple H, but it is what it is, and it is what it's been. And you missed, game. You, you missed. And I just can't get in any offense. I only have so many continues to make it happen, and of course that's going to happen. So, you know, here we go. All right, where else? What else? After that, uh, guess what? Matt Riddle had to fight John Morrison. Fantastic match. Enjoyed that quite a bit. Of course, Matt Riddle won that match. Of course, I'm in danger and I'm gonna get put in the cross space, and it's gonna be... that's it. So, thankfully, Rock got in here. Where were you last time, Rock? What happened? What was the deal last time? Seriously. I don't get it, but here we are. And it is what it... Relax! With the blinking, and the glitching, and the... whatever else. I can't... stand it no more. And after... German. And after Riddle won, got attacked by the phenomenal... AJ Styles to kind of follow up on that from him beating Styles uh, two weeks ago on SmackDown. So, following that great match, we had another great match, and it was AJ Styles versus Drew Gulak for the IC title. Enjoyed that quite a bit. You know, just giving me back to back good matches on SmackDown, I can't complain, man. Just quality wrestling across the board in that first hour of SmackDown, and it was good stuff. So, uh, enjoyed that quite a bit, and he tags out, and I can't get up. I can't get up. I'm just thoroughly being trounced here. Don't make me cheat again, video game. Don't think that I won't, because I totally will. Because I totally will. Like, it's not even close. After that, we had a Bailey and Sasha segment with Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross to help build towards those matches, and <sighs> grapple. Grapple! And that's not surprising, but that devolved into Alexa versus Sasha? No. Alexa versus Bailey. And that ended up with a disqualification happening uh, because, you know, tag team nonsense. Playa building towards pay per view. Playa the horror show. Playa. So that was what happened uh, there. I'm gonna lose this uh, thing here. So I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Gotta get Triple H up here. Come on, game. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Don't hit me in the balls! He's gonna tag out, and that's an absolute waste. Absolutely wasted all that mom momentum. What a freaking shame. But again, video game tag team matches, I still don't like them. I don't care what game it is, I still don't like them. I should totally tag and rock here. But it's been difficult to get that to happen, so... Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. Uh... There we go. And am I playing as The Rock? I do believe I am playing as The Great One. 
So the People's Champ is here to do People's Champ type business. And I'm down with that. So, after that you had Kofi Kingston facing Shinsuke Nakamura. And that was alright. Enjoyed that. Uh, it was good for what it was. Uh, and fun times were had by all. Oh, come on. Chops. Gonna give me a chop. Nope. Can you block the chop? I'm holding the right trigger, and it's really, really frustrating. Just a little bit in this game. Just a little bit. I mean, old school games were not easy. These days, things are a bit easier. Even when you put the game on easy, or beginner for that matter, um, it's still, you're gonna have a problem sometimes. Just older games, more difficult. It was what it was, man. That was the time. That was the style. And honestly, No Mercy shines in its local multiplayer more than fighting against the computer. Like, that's way more fun than what we're doing here. So, that is what I spent most of my time doing, was local multiplayer. So, main event was Sheamus giving a toast to Jeff Hardy and his whole thing, thang, and it was fine. Jeff Hardy hit the bartender with uh, a bottle over the head and then hit the swanton bomb and that was kind of the end of that show. So it was, like it wasn't terrible, but kind of whatever at a certain point. Kind of whatever at a certain point. So, not too mad about it, but like it wasn't a great segment, but it wasn't terrible, I suppose. I suppose. Ding! That's what you get, Triple H. You're going down to Rock Town. To the Rock Show, which is not... We're not here on SmackDown, so... Not not the Rock Show. Oh! Look at the pedigree and missed it on Slugger. Got that back body drop, baby! And I'm hitting the wrong guy here, but... Whatever. Hey, Trips. Hey, Trips. I got a strong grapple, and he was dizzy, and he immediately reversed the strong grapple. So, I am perplexed like a Pixels that he could still get in this kind of offense this deep into the match. Don't sing it, just bring it. That really, Trips, really. You're gonna block everything I do. Punches, block them. Grapple them, reverse them. Like, it's baffling, man. Yeah, go tag out, huh? Go tag out, because I clearly can't do anything else to you. Yeah, go tag out. Perhaps I'll have better luck with your uh, tag team partner here. Maybe, just maybe. Rake in the face. And then, nope. Again, more immediate reversals are very, very frustrating. Ding! Okay, make some progress, rock. Nope, that was not progress. There, reversed. Into the corner! Clothesline! That was alright. That was alright. Make you tap! Nope. Not happening. But, I gained some meter. So, I'll take the meter. Whenever I can get it. Wherever I can get it. Roll up! One! Only a one count. That's where we are. I want to hit that rock bottom. I want to hit that rock bottom. Haha! -ha! You're in the wrong corner now. You're in the wrong corner now. That's what's up. And, even with the help of the slugger. Even with my help that didn't end up working out for me because video games. Don't sing it, just bring it. Get out of here, you aren't even legal any anymore. Leave my ring as the game is taunting me, and I'm like, no, don't sing it, just bring it, game. Come on now. And I went the wrong way. But okay. Come on, Trips. Come on, Trips. This ain't... Toss you out, and then taunt you. Bring it. Oh my god, what was that? What happened? I'm just trying to build meter here, man. That's all. Oh my god. Yeah, so the four-man, the multi-man, all this stuff is... Don't hit the balls. It's just kind of rough, and you kind of do what you got to do. Rock's getting up there. Might get that rock bottom. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Here we go. Here we go. Rock's calling for it. Now, can I actually hit it? 
and make it happen. No, the clothesline. I can't hit it and make it happen. Oh, get back here. Oh, I don't have enough. I hate you. I hate you guts. One. We're going to be in here for a while. And I'm, I'm again, I keep saying I want to sit here for half an hour every day to film a 15-minute video. And it's just really frustrating. Keep him out there, Rock. Keep him out there, Rock. Keep him out there, Rock. We're going to win. We're going to win by count out. Wait, what? 11? What is this, Japan? I didn't know that No Mercy had the Japanese 20 count. What the hell? What the hell? Since when? I was going to win that match. We were done. I'm just sitting here for half an hour. Like, what is happening? Don't you hit me in the balls, Triple H. Crap! Oh my god! I cannot get off the slug floater. It's just not gonna happen, folks. I would love to, but I'm gonna lose it. Th Choke slam! Choke slam! I'll take it. Pin! No, don't back away! Pin! I hate tag team matches. I hate rope break. I hate everything today. Like, I'm just trying to have a nice relaxing day. I can't even do that. Come on, get up, man. I'm gonna lose finisher again. Finally, a slug sploder happened. And it's not a rope break. And it's not a rope break, and it's a two count. I'm never gonna be done today. I didn't want to sit here for this long. Slug sploder times two. Triple H! Really? Really? That, I had it in the bag, I wanted to get him off the apron, pin his tag team partner, and I could have been done. But, and of course now it works. Now it works. Why wouldn't it? Brainbuster. No, you... One, two, okay, look, I won the match. Wait, why did I fail? Wait, why did I fail? Did I have to pin Triple H? We won, I'm done, I'll see you later, bye.